Let's start our demo of the fourth use case, focusing on ArcSight's real-time correlation capabilities. Real-time detection has been at the heart of ArcSight since day one, and we continue to push the envelope to achieve ever higher detection results. Correlation is how we achieve this. There are four main topics we'll cover today. We'll start by describing our approach to categorization. Then we'll show you two different methods to create correlation rules. Sigma support will be shown next. And then we'll finish this section with a brief look at our distributed correlation mode. The challenge with correlation rules is that they have a real risk of becoming outdated the moment one security vendor, say EDR, is replaced with another one, generating similar events but with a diverse logging taxonomy. Our goal is to unify logically identical event categories under a single language, irrespective of any particular or proprietary vendor taxonomy. Let's start with our first example from the ArcSight Fusion Search UI. A basic yet powerful search query can be constructed using just the mouse to select intelligently from a context-sensitive range of operators, fields, and actual values. The search results include all events from EDR systems in my environment. I see McAfee, Symantec, Windows Defender, all categorized as antivirus, which is tagged against each and every event of this type. By default, ArcSight Smart Connectors embed this enriched information within each event at the time of ingestion and normalization. Now, we'll be creating a correlation rule, leveraging these standardized and powerful event categories. First, we'll use our modernized web interface, where we'll write a vendor-neutral, single correlation rule to find all EDR and endpoint protection events using the same antivirus category. I like the web wizard, however, power users often prefer to use our mature ArcSight console to reach the full potential of ArcSight's content development system. This is what we'll show next. Rule building takes place in what we call the Correlation Conditions Editor, or CCE for short. The ArcSight CCE is a powerful drag and drop interface designed to aid design and maintenance of content for today's advanced query and detection requirements. A large selection of logical operators available, and here we're selecting the required category for our rule from a drop down list to formulate our basic detection logic. Once we're finished, we can deploy it into the real-time engine, either for immediate real-time detection or else to run against historical events to test logic against test data or for forensic hunting purposes. In the next section, I'll be talking about Sigma and how to integrate it with ArcSight. I start by selecting a sample Sigma rule from the Sigma GitHub repository. My personal favorite is LOLBAS, living off the land binaries and scripts. I pick a data exfiltration use case. I then copy-paste this logic into a third-party website, Uncoder.io, maintained by Sock Prime, a long-standing ArcSight partner. I select ArcSight as the target platform and hit Convert to generate the ArcSight equivalent of the Sigma detection logic. I return to the CCE console and paste the converted rule text into the free text field. When I click OK, see what happens. The content gets populated into the CCE and automatically passed, just like any other ArcSight correlation rule. I will now show you another real-world example of how ArcSight takes this integration to the next level by merging two net new Sigma rules. To start, I repeat the same steps to convert the first Sigma rule, this time the Mitre Bazaar execution rule, originally written by Zeke. Once I hit translate and copy, I can then paste it into ArcSight. Merging is an advanced technique to detect otherwise low and slow evasive kill chain techniques. Merging these two rules intelligently, we can devise a stronger rule that is tougher to evade and forms a core capability upon which our customers depend. I'll make up an example here, but you will understand the main concept. I will alert only when the file hash of the first rule matches the file hash of the second by composing a super correlation rule or higher priority of alert. Now I'm preparing the second rule as rule two. Once I'm happy with it, I see the first rule appears at the top with the second beneath, combined by default with an OR condition. We stitch the join condition to an AND, leaving only to ensure that the file hash from the first rule is joined or matched against the file hash of the second to implement our supercorrelation logic. This is a prime example of leveraging simple building blocks to form more sophisticated correlation logic by layering tested and proven content to meet increasingly more complex use cases. Once I'm done, I click OK and deploy the click deploy to make the new rule active by deploying into the real-time rules folder. Finally, I will show a modernized architectural design that has enabled us to meet the expanding correlation needs of some of the world's largest organizations. 
Welcome to Distributed Correlation, ArcSight's advanced correlation cluster mode, specifically designed to support real-time detection for our high EPS, high-speed environments, leveraging our mature correlation technology. In this mode, we decouple the correlator function from other components, such as aggregation and persistence, facilitating cost-efficient allocation of CPU, memory, and storage required resources to each functional component as needed. This enables our customers to utilize a cluster of smaller nodes, some allocated to correlation, others aggregation, whilst all working in concert within a single logical ESM instance and already proven by one of our larger customers to reach with 300,000 EPS. This ends demonstration four.